Now for the latest on Marist Sports. Kim Spallone is here to give us the update. In sports, during alumni weekend, the Marist football team played Jacksonville, giving the fans a nail-biter from start to finish. It was a beautiful day for football that brought an intense and exciting game for all the Marist fans and alumni. The Va Jacksonville Dolphins scored within the first two minutes and 31 seconds of the game, but Marist would not go down without a fight. Marist quarterback Chris Dabowski was 20 for 34 for a career high 324 yards passing and three touchdowns. Marist scored their first touchdown with eight minutes and 53 seconds left in the second quarter, which tied the game at 7-7. But the Marist Foxes wanted to try one more play before halftime. With a mere 20 seconds left in the half, running back Ryan Dinabile scored his fourth touchdown of the season, giving the Red Foxes a 14-7 lead. That definitely gave the fans something to cheer about, and the game would only get better from there. With just a minute and 38 seconds left in the third quarter, Jacksonville quarterback Josh McGregor had a 19-yard pass to Josh Philpart that tied the score at 14 apiece. Moving to the fourth, Jason Myers helped the Red Foxes out by giving them a 26-yard field goal, making the score 17-14. With eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter, McGregor threw to Christopher Tuck, putting the Dolphins ahead 27 to 17. Then, Dabowski passed to senior James Lamakia on a 43-yard catch and run, bringing the score to a close 27 to 24, with Maris still trailing by three. And just when you thought all hope was lost, with seven seconds left on the clock, Dabowski found wide receiver Kevin Fitzpatrick in the end zone, for a 26-yard pass, giving the Red Foxes a 31-27 victory over the Jacksonville Dolphins, who were the Pioneer Football League champions last year. It was the Red Foxes' first alumni week in victory since 2005. Josh McGregor, quarterback for the Jacksonville, had four touchdowns and 294 yards passing, but, the but they definitely couldn't keep up with senior wide receiver James Lamacchia, who had catches for 195 yards and one touchdown, who can, and who can forget about sophomore Kevin Fitzpatrick with that game-winning catch that gave the Marist Red Foxes their victory over Jacksonville. The Marist Red Foxes face Valparaiso on October 31st next week here at Tenney Stadium. That's all for sports. Take it away, Katie. Thanks, Kim. You might have seen people digging through garbage outside of Champagne, but don't worry, nobody lost their keys. Marist Dumpster's Dive was underway, and Jen Abbey has more on the story. Today, in front of Champagne, Marist students were digging through trash from Lower Fulton and Lower West Cedar. And no, no one lost anything. They were performing Marist Biannual Dumpster Dive, which assesses the effectiveness of campus efforts to reduce solid waste. The project was set up by Steve Sansola and Paula Williquette Maricondi, the co-chairs of the Campus Sustainability Program. This is the sixth time they have held this event, and they have found that students are getting better about recycling. They shared with us their goal for the dumpster dive. What we're trying to do is measure the waste stream here at the college community of waste through our academic facilities and our residence facilities. And ideally what we're hoping to accomplish is, as we go through the bags of trash, in a, in a perfect world, we would find no recyclables, uh, such that the only thing that's in really the bags of trash are truly trash. Anyone walking by was allowed to participate in the project. Freshman Max Kenny and Joe DeLeo were two of the students that participated in the event. They said their love for the environment made them want to help out with the project. They shared with us some of the more surprising things they found in the trash. Disgusting old yam with yep. a lot of mold on it. That Thank was you, Lower Fulton, for putting that in there. Yes. Um, what, there was those grapes. Onions. Grapes, grapes and, and onions. onions that were yeah. disgusting. disgusting. Um, it's mostly compostable. The dumpster dive happens once each semester, so look for it again outside Champagne in the spring. For more information on how you can help reduce solid waste, visit 350.org. This has been Jen Abbey reporting for MC TV News. Hopefully you enjoy the beautiful weather this week because this weekend looks like it's going to be a washout. Today was cloudy with a high 51 degrees, and Saturday promises rain and possible thunder showers, but the temperature will stay on the warmer side. You can close those umbrellas on Sunday because it promised to be a shining day with a high of 15 deg 57 degrees. Finally, for today's news, dogs might be man's best friend, but fish certainly are not. A man taught us the way to make sure your ex-girlfriend really will never get back with you by stabbing your goldfish. Donald Fight III from Portland, Oregon was a tad upset after a double rejection from his girlfriend. After a fight ensued, the girlfriend fled her apartment, only to return later with the police officer and to find her beloved betta fish lovingly named DeLorean. 
not in her fishbowl. Instead, the fish was found on the floor with a knife in it. Upon this discovery, Fight passionately explained, if she can't have me, then she can't have the fish. So Maris, just remembering before, beginning a serious relationship, make sure your new partner does not have any homicidal fish intentions. You know, I think that's uh, pretty important, Katie, to remember that because you, that's not fun when that happens, you know? No. It's true. Maybe the ladies should turn to cats. They can run. It's true. She probably should. Commitment's a dangerous thing these days. I know. I mean, when, you got to protect the fish. you got to protect the fish. <laughs> all right. That's all we have for today. I'm Katie Graziano reporting for MCTV News. And I'm Kira McKee.